Ah oh, yes, gone are the good old days of the Michael Bay Transformers era. If I look back now, those movies were actually fantastic. Enter Transformers 1. This might actually be the Transformers movie that I didn't know I needed. I absolutely love the idea of exploring the origin story of Optimus Prime and Megatron. It's a great way of introducing these characters to a new generation. The movie will primarily take place on Cybertron, which is actually fantastic. I've been screaming for a live action Cybertron movie. I feel like that on screen would just look insane. But I can only imagine the budget that's needed to pull off a movie like that. So I think this was the next best thing. The movie will also explore the bromance of Optimus Prime and Megatron. They have a very weird relationship, I must say. It's something similar to Professor Charles and Magneto. So it's a love-hate relationship i really hope they dive into that dynamic because i mean we need to know how it got to the point where these guys can't even stomach each other they need to explore that and it's a great foundation to begin with i was actually surprised by the comedic tone of the movie i was thinking it might be a little bit on the darker side because you know transformers if it goes too much into the comedic side of things it ends up feeling a little corny i really hope that they can find the right balance i mean it will be such a shame if they go the route of just having an all-out comedy fest where the story takes a back seat and it's just non-stop silliness i mean i'm so tired of that type of animation don't support bad animation now if there's one thing that across the spider verse showed us is you can have a mature story that resonates with both the younger audience and the mature audience now i know not everybody can achieve that but think about it transformers has been around for generations so if you're looking at the wider landscape, there's a bigger appeal when it comes to the audience. Now, if I'm being completely honest, guys, I am not a massive fan of the animation style. I looked at it and it was like, there's just something that's off. I can't really put my finger on it, but it doesn't look good. I guess we've reached a point where you have movies like Across the Spider-Verse that's not afraid to take risks even if you go and take a look at what mutant mayhem did and it's from the same studio they completely changed the way we look at the turtles i was expecting something similar i mean this just feels like something we've seen before now the animation is going to be handled by industrial light and magic they did all the transformers movies except the last movie rise of the beasts look it's not a major deal breaker but personally i feel like we live in an age where animation needs to be unique it needs to stand out in a crowd and this just feels like a letdown for me personally chris hemsworth and brian tyree henry are doing the voices for Megatron and Optimus respectively and at first I'm not gonna lie guys I was very worried I mean Peter Cullen is an absolute legend I mean the guy basically is Optimus at this point you know there's nobody else it's iconic it's almost like Kevin Conroy is Batman you know who it's supposed to be doing the voice but in the context of the story it makes sense as this character grows he will grow into that character so hopefully at some point peter cullen will take over again you also have scarlett johansson so it's a pretty solid voice cast at this point guys i can't really make up my mind what i think about this one i was expecting something entirely different and i need to see more i mean this is just the first trailer i actually feel like they showed off a lot but it's okay so far i don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button guys and i will definitely catch you on the next one thank you for watching